Happy birthday to you. Make a wish. Granny. Hello. Have you done your homework? Adam. For a general strike. Ready or not. Here it comes. Violent clashes with protection. Ammunition against deserve to get shot. And I stay Bye, strikes on rebel position. We are going to stay. Tell By the end of 2014, 59.5 million people were forcibly displaced worldwide as a result of persecution, conflict, violence or human rights violations. After World War II, Australia and 146 other countries signed a convention to protect those people that had to flee from their home. A refugee is someone who has been granted protection for, be, for being persecuted for reasons of race, religion, nationality, membership of a particular social group or political opinion. An asylum seeker is someone seeking protection for those reasons. There are currently 14.5 million refugees around the world. 51% of them are under 18, your age. 86% of all refugees allocated in the world's poorest countries. Australia hosts only 0.3% of the world's refugees. Only 1% of the world's refugees are likely to be resettled in a given year. Under Australian law, it's not a crime to arrive here by boat without a valid visa and seek protection. An asylum seeker in Australia who arrived by boat before 2013 and is awaiting for their claim to be assessed cannot work in the community and receives little government support, less than a pension and unemployment benefits. The Asylum Seeker Resource Centre is a non-government organisation that aims to protect, support and empower the asylum seeker community. 50% of their clients have no income at all, and nearly 90% live below the poverty line. It provides meals, food, clothing, legal advice, health services, and simply a safe community space. They receive no funding from the government and simply rely on donations and volunteers. My name's Barney, we're in the Material Aid Program here. Uh, I'm the manager of the Material Aid Program. In Australia, asylum seekers have no guaranteed access to income, no income support from Centrelink, and no guaranteed access to work rights. So the types of basic essential items that you and I might find that we take for granted are really hard to come across for asylum seekers. We provide things like gift cards, international calling cards, pots and pans, mobile phones, blankets. If you'd like to make a donation, uh, have a look on the website, check what we can and can't take. We update the website regularly or just give us a call and we'll be really happy to have a chat. My name's Shani and I manage the Food Bank program. More than half of the asylum seekers we see coming through the Food Bank have no income at all um, and the rest have no disposable income. So after paying for rent and bills, they don't have money left over to buy food which we would typically take for granted. So people come in and they don't have any shampoo at, at home, they don't have any soap at home. Um, they don't have any other way of buying fresh fruit and vegetables, which tend to be the most costly items. More than 50% of the food we give out in the food bank comes from the community. So what we really need people to do is donate food. And we have a list on our website of everything that we need, and that constantly gets updated. And that's also good information about where you can drop the food, um, and also how to get it to the ASRC. And if you don't live locally, you can also do a supermarket online delivery through Coles or Woolworths.
On the 8th of September, the E12 Geography course will be visiting the ASRC as part of the Unit 4 course. We would love to take as many donations as possible with us. If you would like to donate, please bring any items from the list on the posters to B3. We can make a difference. We can help make life a little easier for some of the most vulnerable. Part of our fundraising, we'll be holding a barbecue at the Parentage Interviews. We hope to see you there.